In this demonstration, we're going to look at the received signal strength using the Cisco Spectrum Expert tool. So let's start that tool. Click on that. Yes, we want to use external antennas. So here you can see it's discovered two access points. Now let's go through what is discovered here. So the first access point is Avril's network. And this is my home office access point and is a BGN device. And I also have a separate SSID setup called Guess for when visitors come. So both of those are the same access point, just two different SSIDs. And so no surprises, therefore, that they have the same signal strength. Now, the second access point that I've got set up is a Cisco access point, and it's a dual mode access point. So it's operating on two different frequencies. I have it operating on channel one in the 2.4 gigahertz band, and I also have it operating on channel 36 in the 5 gigahertz band. And the Cisco Spectrum Expert is sitting right next to this access point. And so over here, you can see really good signal strength. And no surprises here that the signal strength in the 5 gigahertz band is lower because, of course, my signals attenuate more. So you'd always expect the signal strength in the 5 gigahertz band to not be as good as the 2.4 unless you're using different antennas. Now notice here my neighbor just popped up here and my neighbor is quite some distance away. So you can see the signal strength here is minus 90 dBm. So I wouldn't be able to connect to that network because it's just too far away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Cisco Spectrum Expert and walk it to my son's room which is about 100 feet away, and we're going to take a look at what happens to my signal strength. And at, what you're going to expect as I move away from my access point is you're going to expect that signal strength to get weaker. So let's go and move the Cisco Spectrum Expert tool. So this is interesting. You can see here that it's discovered my son's Xbox because I've now moved the Cisco Spectrum Expert over to his room. And that's a very low powered device, but because I'm fairly close to it, it's just picking up that signal. Now look here at the dual mode access point. The 5 gigahertz band is no longer showing. I've gone far enough away from the access point that I've actually gone out of coverage and the Cisco Spectrum Expert can no longer see that device. But I'm still able to connect in the 2.4 gigahertz band. But notice the signal strength has dropped to minus 74 dBm. So it's so weak that if I was planning a Cisco VoIP network, that would be too weak for me to be able to connect with a Cisco IP phone. 